Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I let you know that if you were wanting to install Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware, that Rufus 4.6 Beta had become available. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, uh, the new release automatically bypasses the compatibility checks, obviously allowing you to install the feature update on that unsupported hardware. Now, my reason for mentioning that um, previous video is that another option and another app has become available and um, so if you're looking for an alternate option maybe Rufus is not doing it for you or it's not working for whatever reason a new app called Flybar 11 has become available so if we head over to GitHub where we have the initial release so this is the first release which has been developed by a developer called Bellum or Belum I hope I haven't butchered that it's spelled B-E-L-I-M and this is designed to help you upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware. Just take note though that it cannot be used for new installs only if you want to upgrade to version 24H2 on unsupported hardware. With the app developer saying um, it offers all working methods to bypass the restrictions for installing Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported, on unsupported hardware and that as mentioned is according to the developer. Now, if we just head over to an image provided, just to zoom in here to give us a better look, um, just to help you out if you are interested in the app. It has two methods that are supported um, to bypass the hardware restrictions. The first method, as we can see, which is an in-place upgrade via server setup, which will be the recommended and the most popular. And then your second method, in-place upgrade via registry. So that will make modifications to the registry. And yeah, if we head back to GitHub, this page will be linked in the description for easy access and reference, by the way. Yeah, you can download um, Flyby 11 and download that to your local drive. Right-click, extract all, um, unzip the folder and just um, click your way through any user account or privacy um, warnings on your PC. However, your setup is configured on your device. And how this will all work is I would suggest selecting the first option in place upgrade via service setup. Uh, and that what that will do in case you're unaware, it'll skip the checks and um, checking the requirements for um, restrictions like CPUs that aren't supported, TPM requirements, secure boot, and so on, just to mention some examples. So how you would use the app um, is select this first option, the first method. And then what you need to do is you need to click on and um, check the Fido script option, which would be required to download um, Windows 11 24H2, the ISO image from Microsoft. Okay. And then um, once the once downloaded, once the image is downloaded, yeah, we can see that you would select mount and run ISO. You click this option, okay? And then you'd follow the instructions until the upgrade is completed. So that's basically in a nutshell how this will work. And obviously if the first method doesn't work, then you can try the second method, which is in place upgrade via registry. And the only difference is obviously um, you check the second option, everything else remains the same as with the first option. So just letting you know about that. Um, I personally don't recommend installing Windows on unsupported hardware, but if you are desperate, um, just letting you know about it like we like to do on the channel and um, just a quick side note um, this will not bypass the SSE 4.2 requirements okay Rufus and this Flyby 11 will not allow you to install Windows 11 24H2 on hardware without the SSE 4.2 support so just take note of that because I can already see somebody's going to ask me that in the comments that is a hard kind of a limit um, that cannot be um, bypassed. So if you have a CPU that doesn't have SSC 4.2, you cannot install Windows 11 24H2 on that device. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.